Inducted in the athlete category, Nancy Molenhauer was a part of the Canadian women's national field hockey team at a time when it was at its peak. During the 1980s, she was an integral part of a team which qualified for every major international games and which medaled three times in that span, making her one of the most accomplished female hockey players in this country's history. When you do stop to think about it, it, it was pretty incredible. And at the time, you don't necessarily take it all in, I think. It's because things are happening very quickly. You're just sort of there, you're in the moment, and you're just living it at that time. The youngest of five athletic siblings, Nancy has had a passion for sports since she was a child. But it wasn't until she was older that she took up playing field hockey. I remember in grade seven, we had a field hockey team. And uh, the coach asked me to, to come and play because we were playing floor hockey in gym. And she said to me, you're pretty good with the stick. She said, what, yeah, have you ever heard of field hockey? And at that point, I, I hadn't really. Uh, so she said, well, why don't you come out and play? So I went to junior high the following year to a local uh, junior high here in Victoria and um, tried out for the, the junior team, which was a grade eight, nine, 10 team. Uh, sadly, didn't make that team. So I was determined the next year to, uh, to, to make it. That drive and work ethic is what fueled her career in field hockey. She went on to compete at the provincial level, then with the Canadian Junior National Team, and eventually had a lengthy career with Canada's senior team. There was myself and a couple of other girls from the mainland, and one girl from, uh, from East, who we were the, they called us the crib kids, because we were like the babies uh, on tour. And uh, they treated us very well, uh, very much like a, a, a big sister, little sister sort of relationship, but it was just a really positive, fun environment. And uh, I, I was pretty hooked. I just loved it. I loved being a part of a team. I think that was, for me, the biggest thing, um, was to, to being pushed to excel and push yourself beyond limits that you were thought capable of. Those limits included competing on the world's biggest stage for Canada, including in two Olympic Games, two World Cups, and a Pan American Games. I remember, obviously, the first time standing and, and wearing my Canadian uniform and, and feeling overwhelmed and so proud. Uh, and, and listening to the anthem and singing and just thinking like this is pretty awesome like it really doesn't get much better than this but also then being able to put those emotions aside and focus on the task at hand which was you know the 70 minute game and game in front of you. Success followed Nancy wherever she went. She won a silver medal at the 1983 World Cup, a bronze at the 86 World Cup and a bronze at the 87 Pan American Games where she was given the honor of being Canada's flag bearer. I think my parents and my brothers, like they, they, we just, whatever we did, we were supported to do it well. And um, I think perhaps being the youngest and perhaps being the only girl, maybe consciously or unconsciously, that made me uh, push harder. That tenacity and perseverance is what allowed Nancy to reach the ultimate heights of her sport. But she's quick to credit those around her along the way for any success she encountered. Like I feel so honored because I played um, with so many great players, you know, and so many of those girls, the older girls, helped to mentor me, um, and, and locally and, and abroad, you know, and obviously my success is, is their success. Um, I mean, there's, there, I'm the one being inducted, but I would not be in that position without all of those, those girls that I trained with and, and played with and the coaches and the family and the friends and that whole support staff. So when you step up to receive that honor, you're, you know, you're walking up with hundreds of other people. Congratulations to Nancy Molenhauer on her induction into the Field Hockey Canada Hall of Fame.